Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today I am going to show you how we can maintain our books of accounts which are legally acceptable as well to all the authorities in India and elsewhere uh, on a Microsoft Excel. It is a very very easy software and the template has been developed by me. Uh, you can save a lot of your money by keeping your books of accounts yourself and not having to hire people or team of uh, members to do it for you. Now as you can see we are in this file uh, where the journal entries are there. Some of these entries I have put myself already just to show you an example and some of the entries I will make it myself in front of you today so that you can see how easy it is to maintain your books of accounts in this software. Now any business when you start uh, let's say it's a new business and you are starting uh, afresh. So what you would do is generally you have put you have to put money in your bank account or in your cash box to start your business as your initial investment. So generally your first journal entry would look like something like this where you put in money and you do your initial investment by crediting your capital account and debiting your cash account or bank account. And then in any business you have sales and you have the stock uh, what you purchase, you maintain your stock registers, you maintain your sales register and you maintain your journal. In this whole template what you do is you only make journal entries and where you say that a particular account has to be debited and some other has to be credited and you give the narration. That's it. And rest of it all the other accounts, all the, uh, uh, the profit and loss uh, statements, the income statements and the balance sheets get automatically updated. You do not have to uh, worry about those. The only sheet that you work are these three sheets which is this journal sheet, the sales register and the stock register. Now let's say you're beginning your business and uh, uh, you, you initially put let's say it would be 700,000 in your business and the entry you would do on a particular date is uh, bank account debit by that much amount and capital account credit by the same amount and then you can give your narration as per your liking. Now what we have done here is since this entry was made already we, we see the bank account and the bank account has this entry already where the capital account is credited and 700,000 is shown as debited. And if we see the capital one account also, the same entry is displayed there where the bank account is debited by 700,000 rupees and the capital account is credited. And this entry would go up to your balance sheet. And now just to show you of how the journal entries work in this uh, template, I just delete this for your reference, I just delete this entry. Now you see the bank account, this entry is gone from there, uh, and the capital one account, the entry is gone from there. Now, if you were starting this business afresh, let's say on the date, which is to, uh, let's say, let's keep it for the sake of this uh, video, let's keep it as 1st August. Let's say you're starting your business on 1st August. This is the journal uh, entry already given automatically. And you put the amount 700,000 rupees and you debit. Uh, now, what you would not be able to see in this screencast video is the list of accounts that comes down from this drop down menu. Uh, and from there we select the bank account. The list of accounts is already available and can be customized uh, when you buy this template. And the capital account again from the list. And then whatever you wish to write in the narration you can write. You show you the right here. And now just as we made this entry, the simple journal entry, these entries would start to see this is back here. It is it will start to show up in those accounts and capital account is also getting that entry, seven hundred thousand is credit. Now coming to the main business that happens in any uh, in business entity which is the sales and purchases let's say i have already done uh, these entries here where we have sent money to the supplier one uh, now the supplier one account of course this can be changed customized to the actual name of the supplier that you would have in your business and we have written that this is advance payment sent on 1st august when we put in the money 700,000 in our bank from there we transfer the money to supplier one uh, of 243,831 rupees and then uh, when the goods uh, came in uh, on the next day when we received the goods we debited the purchase account and credited the supplier one account and we paid 
with the IGST, which uh, because let's say uh, the goods were coming in from out of the state, uh, your particular state in India, uh, so the IGST is applicable. So you've given these entries here. Now, since you've given these entries here, now let's go to the purchase account. All these uh, now on this sheet tabs of Excel. If you are aware how to use them, I'll just do the control page down and go to the purchase account sheet. Uh, all these are adjusted uh, alphabetically for easier understanding and easier access. Now this entry is already showing here. You see here the journal uh, voucher entry, the 2nd August date, the, uh, the credited uh, supplier one account and the same amount. Now if we see the corresponding uh, entry to this in the supplier one account, you will see we are here in supplier one account. Now you will see that we have sent this uh, the supplier one the money and it has been shown here uh, as 243,000 and then when we debited the purchase account it is shown here as 232,000 credit and the IGST amount is also credited to this uh, supplier's account. And then this 10th August entry, I'll come to that later. For now it is only the 1st August and the 2nd August entry which are more important here. When we sent the money as advanced to this party and then when we received the money. So coming back to the journal and now since you received the goods, so first of all what you would do, you would update your stock register. So now we're coming to the stock registers tab here. Now we've given this template, uh, there are three types of goods what we've given but more can be added, customized as per your requirement. Let's say goods type the type A, type B and type C. When you, uh, when you first received on 2nd August, let's say you received whatever quantity in cages or units, whatever units you, you can use. On 1st August you received, uh, you sent the money, date of purchase invoices 1st August and then you received the goods in 2nd August as 100 kgs and 3.6 kgs uh, for the purpose of this example. And the amounts of good, uh, amount for goods purchased, the IGST incurred, the CGST or SGST incurred in case uh, you purchase from within the state in India and then the total purchase value. Now in the same uh, stock register, when you sell those goods, you, you will have to you know, make entries there as well. Now before that, you maintain your sales register separately. This is all, you might see that this is a lot of work, but actually you have to do this when you start your business, when you run your business and keep your books of accounts. These are so many entries that you make yourself, but still it is very, very easy because sales register and stock register are the two main basic documents from where the whole of accounts runs. So let's say for example on 4th August you raised your first, you issued your first invoice of 50 kgs, you sold the goods for 80,952 rupees and then because there is CGST and SGST liability you're charging from your customer so you note down those and that let's say uh, it was it was against a banker's check that you made this sale and then on the same day you made you sold another small uh, quantity on cash basis so you mention all of this so all these columns in this sheets are editable columns uh, because you you can customize and you can enter on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in these uh, sales register and stock register but rest uh, apart from the journal the sales register and the stock register, no other sheet is editable so because that's to maintain the sanctity of the books of account so that mistakenly nobody should be able to delete or kind of alter or format any of those columns. Uh, but these three entries are basic using, uh, uh, these three tabs uh, in this file are the basic uh, entry modules so that is why these are editable. So I will show you how the other uh, sheet tabs and the other accounts in this uh, uh, system are uneditable. Now for example, if I try to do anything with the cell, this error message will come because this is a protected sheet. I cannot and it will take me back to uh, where that, like for example, if I uh, try to change this, it will just give me this error message and it will take me back to where I was. And uh, or even if I try to type in something, it will not let me do that. Uh, so all these sheets, whichever sheet you choose, cash account or this, you will not be able to change any of this, and you will not be able to type anything anywhere. And uh, only thing that you can do is do this, where. You can have the empty rows and if you remove these blanks, so then by printing this account it will be easier if you remove those blanks, that's why. The only thing that you do in these, that you can do in these 
uh, accounts, individual accounts, is this auto filtration. Nothing else can be done. So you've made your purchase now and the IBST and then you have made your sales as well against bankers check as I said 18,952, 4,000. Now when you make the sale and uh, this, this is wrongly debited because this should be bank account. So you change it to the bank account and uh, from the list of accounts which might not be visible in the screencast the bank account is selected because it is against the, the, the check and then the cash sale is against the cash. So you credit your sales account, the CDS account and the SDS account are also credited on the particular date. And look at these journal voucher entries. These are automatically updated. For example, if you need more, you can just simply, if you know how to use the Excel, you can just simply grab the menu from here and it will automatically be generated. Now, coming back to that sales entry that we had, let's go to the sales account just for to see how it shows those entries. There we are on the sales account. Look, this 18,952 is already here. The 761, the cash sale is also already here. And uh, now I'll just show you the profit and loss account as well because that has been made with certain entries already there so this has been already updated and the balance sheet here uh, look at this the balance sheet is all updated on the particular date uh, whenever you open this file this date will be updated so it will always be on that particular date on that particular time the balance sheet and the profit and loss account see the difference here the, it is nil so the balance sheet is valid now just to show you the example uh, in the last part of this video now let's say uh, today is 30th august let's say today you make another sale let's say of 5000 rupees so what would you do is first of all you will update your sales register you've made a new sale today of 30th august let's say you raise an invoice number six and you sold 5 kgs of a particular pen. Let's say the value was 1550 rupees of that. The IGST is not there. And let's say, uh, the, uh, whatever, depending on the rate of CGST and SGST, you will put some values here. Let's say it was 50 rupees CGST and 50 rupees SGST. And now the same thing, once the sale, the sale has happened, you must take these values to your stock register as well so that that stays updated also because otherwise your balance sheet will not tell you so you will just take the same values to there so now your stock register is updated your sales register is updated you just have to make the accounting entries of uh, uh, the sale now the sale was 1550 rupees so here you will have to write 1550 rupees you will debit your customer's account here first of all let's say you make the sale to customer 4 for example uh, and you will credit your sales account from the list of accounts you will go to your sales account and let's say we say it is a cash sale so whatever you want to write in your narration that is up to you invoice number six and then of course on the same day you have also collected cgst and sgst of uh, 50 rupees in this example we use so you will debit the same customer account and credit the cgst account okay it can come up automatically by itself as well so for the sake of uh, fitness i will just copy the entries from there and then So now let's see if this invoice number six, the entry that we must just made on uh, 30th August, has, well, has it gone into the customer four account. Let's go to the customer four account uh, tab. It is coming over here, customer three, and then the customer four. There you go. Automatically, the 30th August entry, sales account, CGST account, 1550. So this account has been debited automatically, the customer four account. And automatically, as well, just as this, it will go into the sales account as well. Here, there you are, customer four, the entry is already displayed here. Right? Now, let's say 
since this was a cash sale, so that means actually the entry, you received the cash. So you actually should be making an entry of debiting the cash account as well. Now, the cash account has been debited and this time now you will credit the customer flow account because that has to be settled. So from the list of accounts actually it should be taken from there you are, customer four, and let's say so let's say now in the cash account, we go to the cash account, and there you are. On the 30th August, our uh, journal goes to 24, uh, payment proceeds, 1550 rupees, and with all these entries now, let's go to the balance sheet. The balance sheet stays valid, the profit and loss account is, is getting updated on the calculation. All of your accounts get updated. A very, very simple way to maintain your accounts. And now there is no license fee as well. And uh, the expensive bookkeepers that you keep, you can remove, save all your expenses on that and use this template. Uh, it is a very, very small fee uh, for which you can get this customized and uh, you can buy the plans as well. So I'm sure that you would be very happy to see this today because now keeping your books of accounts is very, very easy. Just with your, uh, let's say, uh, a one-year accounting knowledge where you know which account to debit and which account to credit and when, uh, you can maintain your books of accounts without any hassles. And even uh, in, the, in, the, in this version itself, you can maintain your uh, sales tax, the GST accounts as well, the GST payable, and all those things are also updated. This is all for today now and uh, I hope I'm sure you have liked it and please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also reach me at uh, uh, ngen220378 at outlook.com uh, for more business inquiries. Thank you.